Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding sales analysis part 3 and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy and this question has been asked in Amazon interviews over the past couple of years. Okay, let's jump right in. We are given a table called product with three different columns, product ID, product name and unit price. Product ID being the primary key of this table, each row of this table indicates the name and the price of each product. Okay. We are also given a second table called sales with six different columns, seller ID, product ID, buyer ID, sale date, quantity and price. There is no primary key. So obviously there can be a repetition. Product ID is a foreign key to the product table. Okay. So basically we can join these sales table as well as the product table using the product ID column. Each row of this table contains some information about one cell. Okay. We are asked to write a SQL query that reports the products that were only sold in the first quarter of 2019. That is between 1st of January 2019 till 31st of March 2019, including both these dates. The order of the result doesn't matter. Okay. Let's go through this example, right? So here, if you see, we have three different products, right? And these are the different sales, right? On different dates. We are only to calculate the products that were only sold in the first quarter of 2019. So if you see product ID one, it was sold in yeah first quarter, uh, product ID two, it was sold in first quarter as well as second quarter. And then if you look at the product ID three, it was not sold in first quarter. It was only sold in second quarter. So the only product that was sold in first quarter was product ID one. Why are we not including two? Because this was sold in the first quarter as well as the second quarter, but we only need to get those product IDs, which are sold in the first quarter only, right? So to do this, if you see the output is going to be product ID one and product name S eight, right? So if you see this, what we can do is from this sales table, we can find a list of all the product IDs, which were, which were either sold after 31st of March, 2019 or were sold before 1st of January, 2019, right? So we can get that list. And then from the sales table, we can only keep those product IDs where the product ID is not in the list of products that were sold in after the first quarter or before the first quarter of 2019, right? So basically what I mean to say here is that let's say there are three products, right? Product ID one, two, and three, right? Let's say two was sold after the first quarter of 2019 and three was sold before the first quarter of 2019. So you got the list of all the products that were sold after as well as before. So the list will be con containing product ID two and three. And now from the list one, two, and three, if you exclude those two and three, so the only remaining product ID is one, right? And that is the product that was sold only in the first quarter. So that is what we plan to do here. So from the sales table, let's get the products IDs, which were sold after as and before that quarter, that first quarter of 2019. So from the sales table, right, where the sale date is greater than 2019-031. So after this 31st March 2019 or the sale date is before January of 2019, right? So 1st of January 2019. So once we have this, let's return the product ID, right? So this is the list of all the product IDs which were sold after the first quarter of 2019 or before the first quarter of 2019, right? And let's store this list in a common table expression, right? So with CTE as, so this entire thing goes into parentheses, right? Now what we are doing is from the sales table, right? So from the sales table, if we, you know, since we also need the product ID and the product name, so product ID, we can get from the sales table, but product name needs to be from the product table, right? So we need, first thing we need to do is we need to join these two tables so that we have both of those columns, right? So from the table called sales, alias does S left to join the product table, right? Alias as P on, since we know the product ID is the common column between these two tables. So we write S dot product ID 
is equal to p dot product id right and once you have this join now what we were doing so from this sales table right so we have all the product ids which were sold at any moment of the time right now if we keep only those rows right so where p dot or s dot whatever it does not matter so s dot product id not in this list right again if from all these list of products that were sold if we exclude all those product ids which were sold after or before the first quarter of 2019 then that will give us the list of product ids that were sold only in the first quarter of 2019 so not in and then we are returning basically return the product ids from this list right so from common table expression right and once we have this then what we what all we need in the output we need a product id and the product name so we write return s dot product id and since the product name is in the products table so p dot product name right Another thing that we need to keep in mind is that the sales table does not has a primary key, right? So there can be repetitions, but you know, you don't want the repetitions to come into your output, right? So you don't want that in your output. Let's say there was another uh, sale of product ID one in, let's say February of 2019, right? So you don't want product ID one S8 and then product ID one S8 twice, right? So to do that, what we need to do is we need to write distinct here right so we only keep the distinct pairs in this case okay so this looks good let me go ahead and run this to see what happens okay so this is accepted our output is seen as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it again it is a very simple question all we had to do was firstly identify all those list of products ids right which were sold before or after the first quarter of 2019 and then from this sales table let's join the product table so that we also have the product name in the output and then from this list of products just exclude all those products that were sold anywhere before or after the first quarter of 2019 and that is going to give you a list of product ideas which were sold only in the first quarter of 2019 and since you don't want repetition you just include the distinct so I hope this made sense. I hope this video was useful. Let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to do this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below. And until then, I will see you guys in the next video.